Hey everyone, I'm Channing McCorston, the container guy. Today, I just ran outside to do a little QC check on a container that we just recently modified. And I noticed a couple small issues, some of it being our fault, some of it being the way that the container was manufactured. So I wanna jump inside and show you what went wrong and how to prevent this if you are installing your roll-up door in your container. Follow along. So I jumped inside this container and I noticed that there is some water spillage happening. This container isn't sitting quite level and it's obvious that it just rained and a little bit of water is leaking into this container. Now some of this is inherent with installing a 26 gauge uh, thin sheet metal roll up door on the side of your beautifully sealed shipping container. So you can expect it not to be quite as wind and water tight as, or as rodent proof as it would have been if you didn't modify the container. But a lot of people find that sacrifice worthwhile for having the extra access into the side of your container. So if you are installing your roll-up door, uh, make sure that at least you install it right to prevent the majority of this problem from happening. And so what happened here is our guys didn't silicone all the way along the edges of the track and where the side frame meets the, the threshold plate. And so I feel some of the rain has come down the side frame, got under the threshold plate and then into the container. So a quick silicone job along all that is gonna repair some of that issue. But another problem is that this container, if you notice with the maroon interior, this is a leasing company spec unit, not a one-time, a true one-time use shipping container. So uh, some businesses in China are being opportunistic and taking advantage of the very high shipping rates. And so they're building the lowest cost shipping container to come across the ocean with the intention of selling this thing and purposely losing money on this container. And so because of that, the floor in this container is lower down than the top channel. I wouldn't be surprised if it's thinner than the normal inch and an eighth or what the deal is, but that's caused our standard operating procedure of installing this threshold plate to actually be drafted inwards. And so I guess our guys, we need to be cautious of these styles of containers and make sure that we run a level on the floor and a level on the threshold plate. And if we're noticing that this is drafted inwards, any water that lands on this threshold plate is gonna to wanna to come into your can rather than uh, spill outwards. So another thing we need to check, our threshold plates are designed so that we can leave the weld along the bottom and not have to grind that because it's loud, uh, it sucks, it's, it's, a, it's a labor intensive process, but in this instance, we might just have to do that. Another thing to be careful of is make sure along the top of that weld that you're applying some silicone to stop uh, potentially water maybe from, from coming in underneath there. So a few things to look out for here. Some of it potentially being our fault, some of it being the way that this container was manufactured, but something to keep an eye out. If you're buying our container modification world uh, roll-up door framing kit and either installing your roll-up door or getting one from us, make sure that you're installing it properly. Make sure your threshold plate's drafted outwards and make sure that you silicone all along the edges. Thanks for watching. If you found this quick tip helpful, please give the video a like, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, check us out at tcg.ca. Hope you learned something.